Have you ever gazed at the sky, wondering what secrets it holds beyond our understanding? What if these secrets are closer than we think, concealed as unidentified aerial phenomena or UAPs? Welcome to the enigmatic world of UAPs, a realm that has long captivated the public's imagination. For centuries, humankind has reported sightings of unexplained objects in the sky, objects that defy our understanding of physics and our place in the universe. These reports, ranging from simple lights darting across the night sky to complex craft-like structures, have given birth to a rich tapestry of theories, myths, and debates. While the public fascination with these phenomena has been persistent, the official response from governments worldwide was for the longest time, a symphony of silence. Official narratives often dismiss these sightings as misinterpretations of natural phenomena or classified military experiments, effectively shoving the UAP phenomena into the realm of fringe science and conspiracy theories. Yet, this silence did not last forever. If you like this type of video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Over the past few decades, we've seen a shift from complete denial to a slow, measured acknowledgement. Governments worldwide are now recognizing these sightings as legitimate phenomena worthy of scientific investigation. This shift was not abrupt, but rather a gradual process marked by a series of high-profile sightings, leaks, and official reports that chipped away at the wall of silence. In the United States, for instance, the Pentagon's acknowledgement of UAPs in 2020 was a watershed moment. This admission was followed by the creation of a UAP task force, aimed at understanding these phenomena and their potential national security implications. This shift is not confined to the United States. Governments from France to Japan have begun to take UAPs seriously, launching their own investigations and fostering international collaborations to unravel this cosmic mystery. So the question arises, what changed that made governments worldwide start recognizing these phenomena? The shift wasn't abrupt, it was gradual, calculated, and perhaps a necessity of our time. We're talking about the timeline of Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP Information Release. The world of UAPs is shrouded in mystery, with governments often keeping tight-lipped about their existence. But over the years, there has been a slow, steady trickle of information, a gradual disclosure that has piqued public interest and sparked countless debates. The first official acknowledgement of UAPs came like a bolt from the blue, catching many by surprise, but it wasn't a haphazard revelation. Rather, it was a calculated move designed to slowly introduce the public to the concept of UAPs. It was a strategic decision, one that was deemed necessary for the times we live in. From there, the process of disclosure evolved, with every new piece of information carefully curated and released. The governments adopted what we call a measured approach. It was a balance, a tightrope walk between satisfying public curiosity and maintaining national security. This careful strategy led to the formation of UAP task forces, specialized groups dedicated to investigating these aerial phenomena. These task forces were made up of experts from various fields, from science to the military. Their task? To delve deeper into the world of UAPs, to uncover the truth that lies hidden beneath layers of secrecy and speculation. But why the gradual disclosure? Why the measured approach? The answer lies in the delicate balance that had to be maintained. On one hand, there was a growing public interest in UAPs, a thirst for knowledge that couldn't be ignored. On the other hand, there was the pressing issue of national security. The information about UAPs, if released carelessly, could have far-reaching implications, potentially jeopardizing the safety of nations. The balance between public interest and national security had to be maintained, thus the measured approach. This methodical approach has shaped the discourse around UAPs, ensuring that the public is informed, but not overwhelmed. It has allowed for a steady flow of information, keeping the public engaged and interested, while also ensuring the safety and security of nations. But how does one differentiate between a bird, a plane, or a potential UAP? The answer lies in the intricate process of verification. Verification is, in essence, the backbone of understanding unidentified aerial phenomena. It's a meticulous process that involves experts from various fields, such as science and the military, working in unison to ensure the credibility of any reported UAP sighting. Science plays a pivotal role in this process. Astrophysicists, meteorologists, and other specialists use their expertise to analyze data and detect any natural phenomena that might be mistaken for a UAP. 
They cross-reference weather patterns, astronomical events, and even migratory patterns of birds to rule out any earthly explanations. On the other hand, military experts bring their knowledge of aviation and advanced technology to the table. They evaluate whether any reported UAP could be a classified aircraft, drone, or other man-made objects. Together, these experts form a formidable team, rigorously scrutinizing every detail and leaving no stone unturned. Their collaboration has, in many instances, helped debunk UAP claims, revealing them to be misinterpretations of natural or man-made phenomena. For example, an alleged UAP sighting turned out to be a high-altitude weather balloon, debunked after careful analysis by experts in meteorology and aviation. In this way, the verification process acts as a sieve, filtering out misinterpretations and mistaken identities. It's a meticulous process that ensures only credible UAP sightings make it to the public domain. The verification process is meticulous, ensuring that only credible UAP sightings make it to the public domain. This measured approach is not just about releasing information, it's about shaping public understanding and policy. The gradual release of data helps to curb misinformation and panic among the public. It's a bit like turning on a dimmer switch. Too much light too quickly can be blinding, but a slow increase allows our eyes to adjust. In the same way, a sudden flood of information about unidentified aerial phenomena could lead to misinformation, unnecessary fear, or even full-blown panic. However, by gradually releasing verified data, we can ensure the public is well-informed without being overwhelmed. This measured approach gives us time to sift through the information, ask questions, and form our own educated opinions. It encourages a healthy curiosity rather than a fear of the unknown. Just as importantly, these reports influence policy decisions. They provide critical insights that help our leaders strike a balance between public interest and national security. They guide the actions of official UAP task forces, informing their investigations and shaping their recommendations. In turn, these recommendations influence legislative decisions and military strategies, ensuring our approach to UAPs is grounded in verified data and expert analysis. As we continue to learn more about UAPs, it's clear that a measured approach to transparency is key. So, the next time you gaze at the sky, remember there's a lot more happening than meets the eye.